everybody welcome back to my channel i just want to say thank you for watching and welcome to vlogmas day five i know y'all are like what happened to your wig why are your braids not in and what's going on don't ask just watch okay so as you've seen from the title today i will be giving you all my five favorites of 2018 I skincare last night so i just want to kind of come back in and give you all some type of you know updates on why i use certain products and um things like that because i feel like when i am doing reviews i'm not really giving y'all the gist of why i like something i'm kind of just going through the motions so i just wanted to give this time to really say hey this is what i like and this is why i'm using it okay so let's get started One of my favorite products from 2013 i would say up until now i did stop using this product for a while and then i noticed a dramatic change in my skin so that's when i was like you know what let me go back to that and let's see what happens so, so the first product is the first aid beauty intense hydration moisturizer i really 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 like this moisturizer because my skin gets really dry i talk about how i have eczema a lot in my videos and I also get a lot of compliments, and I'm not just saying that. I'm not tooting my own horn, but I am saying I do get a lot of compliments on my skin. And I would have to say for for just what it looks like in the moisture, it would have to go to this moisturizer. I'm just going to come in. So this is what this moisturizer looks like. It's a cream. It has a thick consistency. I like this moisturizer for me because it's not too thick where I feel sticky, but it keeps me hydrated. Like... I can have certain dry patches on my skin where this will just eliminate that overall. Um, it also helps my makeup look even more better. Sometimes they say, oh yeah, primer, and I know a lot of people who don't even wear moisturizers. So for me, I personally like a good moisturizer because you can't go out looking flawless, you know, with bad skin. I I just I just love skincare. Okay, okay so my next product, Ultimate favorite product i would say a product that i can't live without a product that i need like a product that just does what it needs to do you feel me okay. so this product is the anastasia brow Wiz pencil i love this product i love this product and the reason why i love this product is because it is a small i let me bring it in. it's this small okay now i'm one of many people who don't have full eyebrows and I don't want my eyebrows to look too thick. I don't want my eyebrows to look fake. So when I'm filling in my eyebrows, I want them to look as natural as possible. I like this product in particular, and I've been using this product from when I was working at Sephora in 2013, okay? So you know I'm true to this, okay? I'm true to so I really like this product because the tip is small and i have small hair this is in the color dark brown and what i find with their colors as well is that they can go really really dark or they can be really neutral so i find it easier to kind of play around with these pencils opposed to some other brands do you know that's the love i have for this pencil okay I love, I love this. product which i love like i i I fell in love with this product as soon as i used it as soon as i seen it as soon as i heard about it i was not playing i jumped on this product as soon as it came out so how i gained to love this product so i got this sample from nars it is their climax mascara it's red it matches me and this is supposed to be their most voluminous mascara it's like supposed to do everything climax like pretty much just make your eye lashes look amazing when i first used this product i was a little skeptical about it because i put it on someone who already had mascara on when I was working at the time. And I was like, mm, I don't know. So then I got in a sample when I was checking out. So I was like, all right, let's see. Let's see how it works. Obsessed. This is my favorite mascara. So my first mascara that I became in love with was Better Than Sex. That was straight. I loved it. Um, then it was their real. Then I was using them both together. And then I got the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. Love this mascara too. So honestly, between two, it's hard because I will use this on the bottom. I use this on the top. So it's a little hard to decide which one I really, really like. This mascara so much, I had to get the travel size. Now this size, I believe, was like twelve dollars. I was like, I definitely have to get it. Um, you get a full brush, so the brushes are the same. You just get more of a mascara. I haven't used this too much yet, but I've used this out. This is done. This is going out the window, but. Just so you can see the difference between the two mascaras, um, as far as like the sample and what 
you can buy in the store. I always tell people, if you can get a sample first, definitely try the sample because then you can kind of decide if you like something, which is why I'm always using samples in my video. Then I tell people to go out and buy it. And again, that's why I use samples in my video. People are probably like, oh, she's cheap. Why is she doing that? I don't that? understand that. But they got to understand, nobody has $50 for a foundation that they probably don't even like, you know? It might break my skin out or there's something in it that just might get a sample get a sample first it will save you a lot of money in the okay. end okay so the next product i'm going to introduce actually was influenced okay it was, it was a little weird because i'm an influencer and someone influenced me but that's what life's about okay so i was influenced by this product um personally i felt like i could never find something that looks good enough for me to wear um so i was just like when i seen it i was like oh i have to try that at least try it you know it's seven dollars but, but how, that won't kill me okay so this product is the makeup by shayla neat freak lip gloss now the reason why i love this product is because it goes amazing on my lips i am wearing right now but i'm gonna apply a little bit for y'all so y'all can see that so so being a black woman african-american of color whatever you whatever you want to call it i call it black girl magic um you have to really be careful with the lip glosses that you put on your lips you don't want a lip gloss that looks how do you say it too pink so i used to get a lot of clients who would come to me like hey do you like this lip gloss and i'll and they'll turn around and their lips are white they look ashy let me see if i can find one just throw this on top I'm gonna just put this lipstick on to give y'all an example of what I mean, cause this is kind of close to. Oh, it's not. This actually looks pretty. Okay, I guess I don't got an example for y'all. To my kit, because there are just so many lip glosses that have like that pink. Like it just look, it's lighter than this. Like it's just too pink. Like this is getting pretty pink. And for me, I don't like anything that looks white or chalky or. You look ashy. It looks like your lips are peeling. So I'm really like specific when it comes to my lip gloss. But Neat Freak, when I got Neat Freak, I was like, this is that lip gloss. So shout out to Shayla for this lip gloss because I personally, I lost that lip gloss and I was like, I have to get another one. As soon as I realized I lost the lip gloss, I bought another one because I was not playing. For me, again, you really just want to like make sure that the lip glosses that you wear, they compliment you. They're not hurting you. You don't want somebody walking around like, what is on her? Y'all see that? I'm going to just show y'all another lip gloss I like, even though this is not a part of five, you know, parks that I'm, I love. I just want to show y'all it. I do love this lip gloss. I just want to show y'all. So this is another lip gloss. It's by Dior. I have listed this lip gloss before. This is the 691. And as you can see, I love this lip gloss a lot where... It's almost gone. But this is more brown, goldish. This is more pink. Pink, not pink ashy, but pink. So if I'm not wearing pink, then I'm wearing more gold brown. Like, there's no in-between for me. I don't really like to go all crazy with the lip glosses, the pink, the, the purples, and the red. We're going to keep it simple and natural, okay? So this product, I personally think everyone needs it. Like, you don't have to wear makeup for this product, but if you do wear makeup, you need this product. You need it if you don't wear makeup. You, you don't have to use this product, but I think you should. So this product is the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Wipes. Now, they have, like three or four maybe five different wipes and so i was using the darker packaging wipes so pretty much they were just darker the only difference between the real difference between the two wipes is these ones are fragrance free and the other ones aren't. i feel like with fragrances if they're in your makeup if they're in your wipes your cleansing products things like that you have to be careful with them um they can irritate the skin you may be allergic to it and you may not even know until you're using it and using it you're like wait why am i breaking out or even your makeup's not coming off the right way so when i was originally using the original wipes i would always feel like this residue coming off on my skin i always felt sticky after i felt like i didn't really take my makeup off and i also would find that i kind of would break out a little bit from the fragrance in it i think it was i, I don't even, the the fragrance I, it's called something honestly but I with the wipes that i'm using now the fragrance free wipes i don't find that 
at all. Like, I don't find that my face feels sticky. I don't find that I'm irritated. I'm not breaking out. And they they just seem so much better. So I definitely recommend that everyone get you some wipes. So say you don't have time in the morning and you need to run out and you haven't washed your face, you still got crust in your eyes, take one of these wipes and wash your face. You know, something quick. A lot of people find like they don't have the time or something in the morning if you're rushing or you're hungover, take one of these wipes. It's so much easier when you're not worried about breaking out. And when you take your makeup off the right way and at the right time, you just eliminate all. Alright, so again, I want to thank you all for watching this video. I want to know what you liked about this video. I want to know if you see yourself buying any of these products. I want to know if, you, if I even taught you anything, honestly. Okay, so this concludes my video of my favorites of 2018. I hope I said that right. Honestly, we're going to 2019. I'm really excited about the new products that these brands will be coming out with. And sometimes I'm always saying to myself, like, how do they keep making new stuff? Like, I don't get it. So I'm really excited about it. I hope you enjoyed the products that I showed you on here. Not all of them are new products. The only real new product in this was the NARS. But these are my favorite products that I've been using for 2018. But overall, I want to say thank you all for watching. This is day five of Vlogmas. I try to switch it up for y'all. So I know y'all like, you didn't really vlog. Because it's, it's a little different. You know, we, we need intermission. You know, we need intermission video. Okay? So again, I want to thank you all for watching. And if you have anything you want to ask me, put it below. But again, don't forget to like, comment, and especially subscribe. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. So pretty much I just finished recording my five favorite products of 2018. And I shared... Oh, God.